Hi! Welcome to Steiger's Missile Systems. I'm Mark Steiger's Missile Mechanic. What I'm going to show you is how I make, take an ordinary shopping bag and make it into a parachute for your modern missile system. And what you do is you may need several items. You need an ordinary shopping bag, some kite string, some tape, scotch tape, and a device called a barrel swivel. This is a fishing item. And what it is, is a clasp. 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 And it's got a swivel. And it's got an eye. thing that we're going to do is we take our ordinary shopping bag and we remove the receipt and throw the receipt away and we cut off the handles cut them off neatly and what you end up with is, if you cut it all out nice and neat, you end up with something that looks a lot like this. Okay, you want something interesting on your envelope, you don't want it just to be a piece of plastic with nothing on it, do you? And what you do, what I do, is I fold across, I hold it in half, gather up those corners, fold it in half again, What you end up with is you end up with folded corners and free cut free corners. And I want you to fold it across the well, I fold it across the diagonal, gather up the folded edges, try to keep it a little neat, I don't want to get too sloppy. You end up with one edge that's got something like this, and you end up with the other edge that's got this across it. And what you want to do, what I do, is take it and very slightly across the bottom, you cut to the corner, and you throw away your excess, and it's kind of like a snowflake. You don't know what you end up with until you open it up. Take it and put the full put it writing side down. That way when the parachute deploys, you can read the writing on the inside of the parachute. And what I do is I take my kite string and I measure across the envelope. And then I come back across the envelope so that it doubles the length of the envelope. You want to do that three more times so you end up with four shroud lines. Shoot shrouds. Shoot shrouds. Say that three times real fast, huh? I happen to have some strings that are about the right length. Throat whistling. Can you throw a whistle? I can. And you end up with four shroud lines, shoot shrouds, that are the same length. Put them up there for right now. And you set your string aside. Now that you're done with your string, and we're done with this. You take, I take a piece of tape.
side of the tape. And you make it come off the very top of the writing on your envelope. Bring the shroud line underneath. Get yourself a square of tape. in your shroud line is if it was just a straight piece of string underneath the tape there's a great chance it would just pull straight out with the parachute when the chute deployed. I want to give a little bit of area to put it right on the bottom side of your writing. We want to make sure that the shroud line has some surface to tug on. We don't want it to be just a straight piece of string that will pull it out. side of the writing this time. Put your shroud line off the edge of the envelope. Bring it underneath the envelope. Get yourself a square of tape. side to side. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take a piece of shroud line, a sheet shroud, make a loop, well, a piece of square tape, and make ourselves a loop. And on the diagonal up at the top, where the shroud line comes off the envelope, the edge of the envelope, shroud line to the edge of the envelope. At the diagonal, here's these two right here, eyeball it right in the middle and just stick it right there in the middle. And bring your shroud line underneath. Get yourself a square of tape. Shroud. Make the end of this. Here's the one at the side, here's the one at the bottom. Eyeball it, put it right at the end where this line comes off the edge of your shoot shroud. Take your last shroud line. Cut yourself off a square tape. side of the diagonal. Put the right eyeball right there in the center as close as you can right underneath. Get yourself a square of tape. the 
same length. A loop. And to the end of loops, hold them tight. Go through the eyelet. Swivel, drop it through the loop, pull the loop down, the strings down, pull tight. You've just made yourself 